Hi, Peter and Mallory. So um, this is the uh, first map that I made. Um, this one we'll just sort of use to focus in on uh, Japan and the area just outside of it. Um, I filtered for Taiwanese vestals, and so we then see um, these vessels that will be appear sort of as the little red dots. Um, and then I also filtered for nightlight fishing, and that's all the, the sort of yellow dots that we see. Um, from what I can tell so far, having just started using this feature, um, is that we can't actually tell if these are Taiwanese vessels or not. We just know that there's uh, vessels fishing there. So um, I don't know exactly how, how helpful that that's going to be. Um, just, uh, you know, on a side note, I guess, is that one of the things that you can look for, I think, is that when you have ships that are broadcasting their vessel, their, their positions through AIS and are showing up as red dots, and then suddenly they stop broadcasting, but then you can sort of see through a movement pattern that they then are um, um, showing up in areas where the there there's a concentration of a lot of these of these dots so that might be something that we can look for sort of on closer inspection but uh, the other thing i i want to sort of call attention to here is that i tried to um put the time scale here for sort of from july uh to december is which kind of represents from what what i gathered from the, the emails is the the salary fishing um uh, time frame. So we'll just kind of stop it at December and, and one of the things that I, I noticed from playing this back a few times is that it does seem like there's almost more movement um, uh, between November and December almost and then continuing on uh, to, to, you know, past December. So, um, you know, that's something I guess for, for us to talk about, but let me just go ahead and play it here. Okay, so I'll zoom in. I guess you, you can't, see, you didn't see it really very, very much there. But uh, the other thing is, is that so you you can see here. So if we're in Japan here, for example, um, it it shows here that we're you know within Japan's EZ, but also within RFMO seven. Um, so you can see uh, even here, for, for example, still I guess RFMO seven. Um, so I guess those would be some of the. Uh, but you can see here, like for example, there's much more. Um, movement here. So I'm not sure if the specific area we're looking for is is this here. Um, but you can see how sort of there's a concentration of both the the red um, dots, but also the, the yellow ones here, particularly here. So I don't know if this is the area that we're we're sort of interested in. Um,
So there we can kind of see it, like we can sort of see a vessel there. And then when we're sort of clicking on specific vessels, we can sort of see that it was there sort of fishing just outside of uh, Japan's EZ and then seemingly making its way, its, its way back. So just one more time. Right, so we can we can sort of see that play out, and that's just one vessel. Um, and I'll I'll close this down now, so it doesn't um, take too much time. But um, you know, next I'll try to, uh, like I said in the email, um, look for uh, vessels that we have previously identified as as squid jiggers and see where where those movements go, and then also potentially try uh, clicking on some of the more individual ships that are in this in this area. Um, and, but I just thought it was kind of neat now too with some of these extra features where we can actually see the different RFMOs um, as well as the, the EZs, but you know, the EZs we can see before and also some of the, the, the nightlight fishing, you can just really see a lot of concentration there and also some of it sort of moving in, in conjunction with, the, with the, uh, the, I guess, regular vessel uh, positions.